welcome back to another episode. I'm your nerdy bearder buddy, and today we're talking about Black Lotus. Black Lotus was directed by Todor Chapkanov. It stars Frank Grillo and 11-time world kickboxing champion Rico Verhoeven. It comes out digitally and on DVD July 5th. I just want to give a shout out and a huge thank you to Defiant Screen Entertainment. They sent me a link to review this film digitally, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the opportunity. You guys are awesome. Defiant Screen Entertainment is an independent all rights distributor of feature film and television product in Australia and New Zealand. Make sure you check out their stuff. I'll leave the link to them in the description below. Let's get into the review. So as I said, it stars Rico Verhoeven, who is a kickboxing world champion. So, known as the king of kickboxing, Rico Verhoeven, Grillo's sizable Black Lotus co-star, started practicing martial arts at the tender age of seven. He became the glory heavyweight world champion for the first time in 2013 and is still the reigning champ. With a social media following of over 2 million eager fans, the story behind his success has been told in his 2017 biography, Rico, which topped bestseller lists and in the Amazon original documentary, Rico, Dream Big. With several appearances in Dutch film and TV series, and a part in Jean-Claude Van Damme's 2018 actioner, Kickboxer, Retaliation, Black Lotus is Verhoeven's breakout starring role. Black Lotus tells the story of Matteo Donner, who, after losing his best friend on a special ops mission gone wrong, has roamed the world plagued with guilt. Years later, he returns to Amsterdam to check on his friend's family, but his desire for redemption becomes a quest for revenge when they are targeted by the local crime syndicate. Now, the streets and canals of the city will explode as Matteo launches a one-man war against everyone who threatened the ones he loves. Did I like this movie? Kind of. So, I liked the action in it. <laughs> but other than that, the story and the characters, not so much. The plot is fairly standard. It's not really anything unique or different. We've seen it plenty of times before. Rico's acting, being his first ever breakout role, was actually not as bad as I was thinking it was going to be. Obviously not top tier level, but still pretty decent. He does a pretty decent job, and the dude is a tank. He is an actual tank. He takes so many hits in this film, it's really entertaining to see. However, I feel like some of the lines he delivers are a little bit hit and miss, and I feel like that's due to the writing. Not really his fault, but the writing. What I found most off-putting in this film was the accents of the actors. For the most part, it's pretty understandable. They're doing like an American accent, and that's fine. But there's some parts where I had to really listen in and kind of like pay attention because it was hard for me to understand what they were saying at points. But it's like a handful of times, but it still affected like the way I watched it and took in the movie. So the acting is fairly forgettable, but again, like I said, <clears throat> It's due to the writing and directing. The actors are just doing their jobs with what they've been given. At first, you know, I thought it might have been due to Verhoeven's breakout role, but like, the more I watch it, the more I just think it's the writing, not actually him. Like, this is a film, I feel like, if it came out in the 90s, it would have been something like The Rock would have starred in, or John Cena. Like, this film, I can see Rico's potential with. So he's got a lot of potential and I'm eager to see what else he does next. Like I said, I didn't really care for the characters or story. I feel like the pacing is a bit slow and it's only an hour and a half movie. So that's a little bit of an issue. The most entertaining parts, like I said, were the fight scenes and the shootouts. They were really fun. And obviously being an action movie, that does its job perfectly. But like I said, if you want a good story with substance, you need that development and the pacing needs to be really tight, especially with a, like a pretty fast running time. I also like the cinematography. There is a scene in the beginning where you see a silhouette through the gun and explosion smoke. And I really liked it. It looked really cool the way it was portrayed. You know, it was like a guy holding a gun. It was, it was really cool. And there's a scene, there's like a chase scene where Rico, he's on his bike, like on a push bike and he's chasing down these cars. I, I liked it because I, I it felt fun. It felt like a fun scene. And, you know, if, if you've seen the scene, you know what I'm talking about. 
I don't want to spoil it just for people who haven't seen it. But it, the way he like chases them down and I guess jumps onto the car through the sunroof is really cool. But I really liked how he was on his push bike or on a push bike he took, sorry. And he was chasing them down. And there's a camera, it was like a POV camera of like right behind his back. Um, as he was riding. That was really cool. I hadn't seen that much before and it felt experimental. So good job. And like I said, like Rico's character is huge. He can take some hits and when he gives them back, he absolutely demolishes whoever's in front of him. It's pretty cool. It's probably the most entertaining aspect. Like I said, just watching him just take hits and give them back. Like it was, it was really fun. <laughs> but like I said, other than the story, this is a B grade type of action movie where I like seeing Verhoeven's character being an absolute tank. Other than that, the movie just falls a bit short. And I feel like that's because of maybe direction, characters, and plot. A lot of the side characters in acting are very stiff too, so... Real quick, just before we end the video. I am now an affiliate for Power A. They do gaming controllers and accessories. So if you guys want to check them out, use my link in the description below. It really helps and I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. That's it for the review. I'll see you guys later. Thank you for tuning in. Big thank you to Defiant one more time. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe. Mm.